well, back again. Um, recently, I was thinking of Oliver Darling, who I knew from when I had the Tubular Gallery before Triscoll Art Centre in Cork. And Oliver Darling worked for the Irish Arts Council and also had his own gallery, the Oliver Darling Gallery in Dublin. He passed away in January of this year and a few days ago, his collection of about 160 artworks came up for auction with Adams in Dublin, adams.ie. And it was a collection of 160 artworks. And I was looking through the collection and it, it made me think of uh, the creative inspiration. There are so many diverse pieces in the collection. A third of them were by the Irish artist Cecil Keane. But the other works was such a selective mix of really enticing works that Oliver had collected. And he was such a, he was a consultant, he was a friend, he was amazing. He helped so many artists in Ireland. And as I said about the creative process, and I was looking at the collection and it's there to be viewed in past auctions, 2024. And for those of you who make art, like myself, and for those who would like to make art, I was thinking about the process. And I remember as a child, or a little bit older, not a child. Today's term, knowledge is kid. For me, that's uh, still a, a baby goat. <laughs> but anyway, I was about seven, eight, nine, from that age, I don't know. But I can remember going into the countryside and taking paper with me and actually drawing And at the time, I didn't really know why I was doing it or how the concept came to me. But it was something within, as most children do, they draw. And they like making shapes and whatever. And it's an inner feeling, an inner expression of their emotions. And that's probably what I was doing. And little did I know, it's only in reflection and memory as time went on as I got older and older, that I can remember, I didn't have to remember it, it was an instinct that came to me. And again, when I was looking at Albert Darling's collection, as I said before, they were so diverse And that inspiration is within us all, if we care to use it. And for those of you who are watching this and maybe do not make art, it doesn't how old, it doesn't matter how old you are. Psychologically, physically, I don't know, but anyhow. Um, it's just good. to pick up a pen and a sheet of paper. That's the same as an artist picking up a brush or a, again a pen and a canvas. And let your mind just flow and 
down through your hand to your hands, from your heart, from your thoughts, and actually see what happens on the page. And I'm grateful to seeing so much art that Oliver Darling had collected, and it made me think more of what can happen when you hold a hand or you hold a brush or a pen in your hand. It's such an amazing expression. And it can be the same for a musician, a poet, a dancer, an architect, anything, you know, like in the creative industries as they use these days. I just thought I'd pass these little thoughts on to you and I hope that maybe someone out there may get something from what I've just said. Until the next time, thank you. Bye-bye.